We have breaking news at this hour tonight from Oregon on that three and a half week old standoff between anti-government militia and federal officials. We've just learned that the leader of that group, Eamon Bundy, is in custody tonight after an incident where shots were fired. For more now, we go to NBC's Joe Fryer. Joe, what is the latest there? Well, Lawrence, the FBI just released a statement giving us more details. It said it, it decided to begin what it called an enforcement action this afternoon to try to end this armed occupation that's been going on for three and a half weeks and arrest some of the people involved. So there was a situation where they were confronted by authorities and during the arrest, shots were fired, according to authorities. One person, one of the protesters, was killed in that exchange. That person's name has not been released yet. Another was also shot and injured. That person is expected to survive, was taken to a hospital in town to be treated. That hospital is under lockdown. Also during this entire incident, six protesters were taken into custody. Ammon Bundy, the leader of the group, one of them, along with his brother, Ryan, they are now in federal custody, and according to authorities, they all face federal felony charge. This is the charge, conspiracy to impede officers of the United States from discharging their official duties through the use of force, intimidation, or threats. Now, all of this actually happened not at the Wildlife Refuge, but well north of it, north of the town of Burns, on a road where it appears authorities tried to pull them over and enforce these arrests. From what we understand, the armed militants were we're actually heading to a meeting in the town of John Day, Oregon. That is about 70 miles north of Burns. They were expected to meet with community members there to talk about the ongoing occupation. A number of people were gathered in John Day waiting for the armed militants to arrive, but they never did arrive because of what happened this afternoon around 4.30 p.m. Oregon time. Again, to recap, one of the protesters is dead, another was injured, and six others, including including the leader, Ammon Bundy, are now all in custody and will face federal charges. Lawrence? And, and Joe, once again, uh, no information at this point in terms of a name of the person killed or a name of the person injured. No, authorities at this point don't want to release that information because they want to make sure to inform the family. And this happened not that long ago. There are some rumors circulating online about who it is. But at this point, we don't know. And we really don't know exactly what happened during the exchange between authorities and the armed protesters. But we know that the FBI says that shots were fired during this incident. And that's what led and, to the exchange. And, and any injuries to law enforcement personnel? The FBI has said nothing about that. At this point, the FBI is only saying basically two people were shot, the one who died and the other who was injured. And Joe, what do we know about uh, any militant protesters still left at the, re at the uh, reserve, the Federal Reserve there? That's a good question because we know this happened well over 30 miles from the refuge. At this point, it's believed, based on some of the reports we were seeing on social media, that there were still certainly some people there. It's unclear at this point if authorities moved in there to get those people out or if they remain at this time. Again, all of this action happened several miles away from the refuge, but it involved some of the key players in this armed occupation who it appears were heading to a meeting well north of Burns. Joe Fryer, we'll come back to you if any more develops there. Joe, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Yep. Coming up.